You're watching WGN Midday News. Next in the Midday Fix, how to train yourself to eat healthier. In today's Midday Fix, changing the way you think about food, how to evolve your eating to kick those unhealthy habits. Certified clinical nutritionist and physician, Dr. Gina Sergio joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. We were just talking about this with a lot of restaurants now, having a trend toward sort of more high-fat foods. And, and I'm surprised that the trend is sort of going, to me, what seems more unhealthy. That's not necessarily it. I, mean, I think a lot of that is actually just coming back against the trend of no fat, low fat, okay. which was a bad idea and it was a terrible idea. Um, and we have so much disease and health problems because of that trend. And so it's not uncommon for something to kind of backlash the other way. Let's go you know? through, I think, the decades to kind of see how yeah. we have evolved so we see where we should be going. All right, well, we started out here trying to get from the 60s to about the present day, where we hope the present day should be. I right, should <laughs> where so, it's supposed to be. Where it's supposed to be. So the 60s, we run into the problem of more people working, working longer hours. Moms are working, no one's at home, just making a home cooked meal all day long, and time is crunched. Right. And so we have people racing around, kids are doing the activities, fast food just blasts onto the scene, takes over, and it fills the niche. You can feed people cheap and fast. And we didn't even know it was unhealthy. I mean, we eat fast food all the time, and I don't remember my mother yeah. ever saying, don't do that, whereas now my kids know, right, this mom is doesn't news. like us going right, for don't fast go food. There. Right, right. <laughs> but it was just how can you fill the need? And we see sugar is blasting onto the, onto the scene, there's more flour. By the 70s, the, the use of high fructose corn syrup has gone up 4,000%, oh which is gross. And, and I hate to say that statistic because it makes it sound like I'm saying high fructose corn syrup is a food, right. which it's not. It's edible, so is Play-Doh. You should eat it, right? <laughs> Just bad news. Right. So we go forward, and now they're saying that in the year 2000, 48% of our vegetables, loosely speaking, right. comes from potato, frozen potato, potato chip, fresh potato, uh, iceberg lettuce and canned tomatoes. And that's what they're terming the vegetable corner, which oh is my goodness, deplorable. Yeah, potato chips are your right. vegetable. So okay. what I see in my office is a lot of diseases of inflammation. A lot of this is lifestyle. Sure. They're obese, diabetes, all kinds of inflammatory diseases of autoimmune disease, food allergies, it's a mess. And people wanna know, what's the one food I can do that helps my health? What's the one bad food I need to take out? You know, and none of it. I mean, there's no one answer. It's right. a lifestyle you have to change. You can't do this. What we wanna bring you to is eating food with nutrients. So one company that's really helping us out is Factor 75, and they're bringing healthy food to your door. It's delivery to your office, to home, wherever you need it to be. It's nutrients-dense food, real food. Right, right? I love this Meat, concept. Vegetables, actual vegetables that you recognize, not just the same bland old bland old. Mm -hmm. Green, green, greens with nutrients in them. We have high proteins. We have clean meats that are going to be grass-fed, and right. we need that. We need That's our food trend to be dense. That I think sort of getting back to those sustainable foods, and yes, we think, exactly. okay, this is a good idea. Exactly, and you need to do that. You have to invest in your health because no one's going to do it for you. You can't just count on someone else to give you the right answer. You have to go out, seek it, and support yourself. And you want to try to vary your diet, so you can't say, don't eat this. Exactly. Eat this. I think that concepts, exactly. when I look at this plate, I go, there's color on that plate. And, and who that's doesn't want to eat this to... versus that end over there, which, although it's fast, oh. and when you're pinched for time, you know, and you're a working mom, and I'm a working mom, and we can all count up how many days you're zooming around town, and everyone's hungry, and everyone's crying, that is easy. It is definitely easy. But it's Even only pinched going... for time, I'm not grabbing yeah, that. I mean, I'd rather I'm not, not eat. either, but <laughs> I know it happens, and I know why people fall into it, because right. I understand what they're up against. Uh, but, you know, turning this direction is just as fast, just as simple. You can order on your computer. Computer. You can order for the week, you can order for next week. It doesn't have to be, you know, that or nothing. And when I look at this plate, I think people at home are saying, oh my goodness, what about portion size? That plate is huge. But when it's good food, you can eat a lot of it. Well, and a lot of it is vegetable. Right. You can eat vegetables forever and ever and ever and only improve your health and, you know, never go the wrong direction. Um, it does look like a lot, but again, there's arugula, there's a little bit of shrimp, there's some purple potato mash, there's peaches, there's a lot of good stuff in there, you know, aside from the red meat as well, which is great for iron. Iron, great for Protein, us. It's yeah. caught a bad rap, but it needs to be good meat, and it can offer a lot for your health. And that's the thing. Again, if you're eating right, you can eat more. You can yes. be satisfied, yes. and you can feel that sense of satiety yes. without having the bad stuff, which is impacting mm -hmm. your heart. And look at the obesity rate. Look at the look rate at of diabetes. America is a disaster. Right. right. We need to change gears. We need to focus on real food. People want to do it. They know it's out there, but they're still pressed for time. We don't have any more time than we had before. And so you cut corners, but you need to cut corners not on your health, but on on the prep.
And that's where this comes it's in. It's also an education as well. You get this, you learn it, and then you're able to do it yourself. Yes, to replicate so, it. Thank yes. you so much, Doctor. Absolutely. Appreciate thank it. You. you can get more healthy food help at factor75.com, and we'll have a link on our website as well, wgntv.com slash midday.